I'm Peter Block in Anaheim, California at the AHA annual meeting for On the Scene. And with me is Tim Henry from Cedar sinai in Los Angeles. Uh, Tim, you are one of the guys that still believes in stem cells and uh, we have a new trial. What's yeah. the name of the trial? Tell me what it is. It is interesting work and it looks like there may the sun may be coming out from behind the clouds. So the trial's called All Star. And it follows up on the Caduceus trial, which used autologous, so your own cardiac drive cells. And in that Caduceus had shown that you could decrease scar size and increase viable tissue in patients with a recent large anterior myocardial infarction. So our goal was to enroll 260 patients, placebo and treatment, and to use allogeneic, so from a young healthy donor, cardiac drive cells, and we give intracoronary. So I think there's a couple important points. First of all, we've changed the natural history of the disease for acute MI. So there aren't as many people with large anterior infarcts. I bet it was hard to find folks that it had was. big anterior infarcts. It was, so we only we recruited, much slower, we recruited much slower than we anticipated, and we ended up with about 130 patients. The second thing is, when you look at the clinical events in this trial, large infarcts, scar size 25%, EFs 35%, there was zero deaths at one year. So we've actually gotten pretty good at taking care of infarcts, yeah, haven't we? we've ch completely changed the disease. So with that, unfortunately, we have a trial that's smaller than we hoped, but then we still, it's a phase two trial, so our goal is to try to find mechanistic insights. It turns out there's no significant difference in scar size. Part of that has to do with the variability and doing MRIs in these patients. It's more challenging than you would think. But what we did see on the other side was improvements in volumes in the cell-treated patients and a reduction in BNP. And clinical events were all in the right directions. No deaths, but uh, heart failure hospitalizations, for example, were cut in half, So, all, which goes along with the lower BNPs and the lower volumes. So, so when you say volumes, Tim, let me just make sure everybody understands. We're talking about end systolic and end diastolic volumes, yes. cardiac volumes. Yes, both left ventricular and systolic volume and both left ventricular and diastolic volumes decreased in the cell-treated patients. That's got to be a good thing. So it, the, certainly those are good signals. But I think we also established that post-myocardial infarction patients are not probably the best target for cell therapy because they're doing so well. It's just less important for this patient population now. Okay, so one last question and then I'm going to ask you a, a wrap-up, but it looks like heart failure is the next big target. Yes, yeah, so heart failure is clearly the biggest target. It's the biggest problem in America today. It costs the most money, and it's from both for everything, not just cardiovascular disease. So I think that is really a, a really important target. And there's some really good data in heart failure that cells actually make a difference. Okay, so uh, for all those folks out there who think stem cells are just a waste of time and a pain in the butt or whatever you want to call it, but now suddenly uh, we have some data that actually seem to support the concept. I think the best, the population, we have a paper that will be out soon and with refractory angina, so growing new blood vessels. It's a lot easier to improve perfusion and grow blood vessels, I collaterals, than it is to grow new heart muscle. And I think that's where really cells work very, very well. And I think uh, there's a lot of promising data out that shows if you target them for the right thing, you can be effective. So stem cell therapy, um continues to sort of grovel around and do good stuff and gradually it's going to work. So good good work Tim, thank you very much for coming. Thanks, Peter. It's a delight to be here.